Today, you will learn how to create stunning images with glow effects in Photoshop. To get the best results, make sure to pay attention and let's hop straight into Photoshop. Okay, so first, create a duplicate by clicking Ctrl G. Next, select your quick selection tool and click Select Subject. You can use whichever method you like for the selection by the way. Now click the mask icon to make your selection. Now we are going to make a selection of the horns. So holding Ctrl or Command, click on the mask of your selection. Now zoom in and select the quick selection tool. We are going to make a selection of only the horn. You can reduce the size of your quick selection tool with the left square bracket key and fix the selection. You can as well increase the size with the right square bracket key. Now, select the thumbnail of your selection and click Ctrl plus J to make a selection of only the horn. Right click and convert it to a smart object. Right click again and put it into a group. Let's name the group Horns. Now select your background layer and we are going to create a color lookup. So select your new adjustment layer icon and click color lookup. I'm going to use the Moonlight 3DL. Yes. Now it's too blue so we are going to add a black and white layer. So select black and white and we are going to put the opacity at 50%. Very good. Now. Select the horn and click Ctrl plus J to make another duplicate of it. Now come to the blend mode and change it to linear dodge art. Now come up to filter, down to blur and then Gaussian blur. Now we are going to increase the radius to create a soft edge over here. So increase the radius a little bit. Yeah, 5 is given the soft edge so click OK. Now create another duplicate of your horn by clicking Ctrl J again. Now double click on the smart filter of the Gaussian blur and increase the radius to 100. 101.4 also is close to 100 so let's keep it and click OK. Create another duplicate again. Double click on the smart filter and this time increase it to 250 pixels. Create one last duplicate and Change this one's radius to 500. Click OK. Now click here to close the group. Come down to your new adjustment layer icon and create a hue and saturation adjustment. Click here to clip it to your horns group and click colorize. Now increase the saturation all the way up to 100 and change it to a color you prefer. I'm going to use an orange tone. A bright orange tone somewhere in between orange and yellow so this looks fine you can make it a bit lighter as well 12 is okay beautiful now right click your horns group and convert it to a smart object select your antelope layer and come down to your new adjustment layer icon and select exposure now clip it to your antelope and reduce the exposure to a very dark amount now make sure the mask of your exposure is selected and then select your brush tool make sure the foreground color is black and then you can keep the flow at around 22 now clean the dark exposure from the back of your antelope because that's where the highlight will be hitting clean all of that portion Now let's add color to the highlights. Create a hue and saturation adjustment layer and colorize it as well. Make it the same color as the one we used for the horn. And clip it 
to your antelope layer. Now holding Alt or Option, drag the mask of your exposure layer and drop it onto the mask of your hue and saturation adjustment layer. Click Yes and now click Ctrl plus I to invert the mask. Now you realize the color only applies to the highlighted portions. You can reduce the opacity as well to make it look more consistent. So I'm going to keep the opacity at 50%. This is before and this is after. Beautiful. Now for a finishing touch, I'm going to add some sparkles. I'm going to use this image. Change the blend mode to screen. Now click on the mask icon to add a mask to the layer and click Ctrl I to invert it. Now select the brush tool and make sure the foreground color is white. Increase the brush size with the right square bracket key and paint back some of these sparkles. Just adds a nice finishing touch. You can reduce the opacity a little bit as well. I'll keep the opacity at 60% and that's it. That's how you create a beautiful glow effect in Photoshop. Thanks for watching. If you learned something today, don't forget to leave a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel for more awesome tutorials from me in the future. Now, if you want to practice with the same image I used, I'll leave a link down in the description for you to download it. Never stop creating and I'll see you in my next video.